to a little spotlight matchup. College football, our one game this weekend, live from MetLife Stadium. One of the best things going in college football, the beloved Army versus Navy rivalry game in their 117th matchup, Arky. Can you believe it? Yeah. Yeah, the wow. Army, the Army Black Knights, they are eight and three, taking on the Navy Midshipmen, who are three and eight. Army is the seven and a half point favorite as it stands right now, with a total here at 43 and a half. Arky, I'm going to put you on the spot really quick. Can you tell me who won the very first Army versus Navy game back in 1890? Uh, Army? Uh, that would be Navy. Okay. 24 to zero. Oh, shut, wow. shut out Army. Uh, do you know where it was played? Uh, no. It was played uh, on the plane at West Point. So I did a deep oh. dive into the background of this rivalry game, and I have one more fun fact because I'm obsessed right. with history. Are you ready for it? Give me. Okay, here we go. While their first game was in 1890, it wasn't an annual tradition until 1930, and the longest stretch of no games between these two came from 1894 to 1898 because there was an argument between the Navy Admiral... Aye, aye, Captain. And the Army General that almost resulted in a duel. A duel, Arky. Yeah. I miss the days where you just settle things out with a duel. How uh, Hamilton of them. We, we need more <laughs> duels. We need more duels. Um, and also a duel over a football game is pretty legit, and I'm surprised we don't talk about that more. Well, I mean, the Iron Bowl gets a couple. <laughs> That's true. Um, but now back to 2021, Army finished out the season on a four-game winning streak while Navy went two and three in their last five. Uh, since its inception in 1890, Navy actually leads the long-standing rivalry at 61, 53, and seven all time. Yes, there really have been seven ties. So with all that said, Arky, how will you be playing this game? So this game has gone under 15 straight games. Wow. 15 straight games is yep. probably the reason why you've seen the total to be 34 and a half, which is easily, easily the lowest total for either one of these two teams this season. I mean, last year, what was it, 15 to nothing? You know, that now was a game, by the way, that was played at West Point, too. Right. Uh, so, you know, like, it's going to be a low scoring affair, most likely. It's just whether or not you get that number that you like at 34 and a half. I tend to lean the under anyway. Navy uh, Army's got four different players who have over 400 rushing yards. They're number one in the country in rushing yards total. They're also number one in time of possession, which is a big, big, big deal when you're trying to talk about unders and if you have teams that like to take a lot of time off the clock. And both of these two teams actually do that. They do take time mm -hmm. off the clock. Um, I lean right now the under 34 and a half. And in fact, that's the play I've already made, under 34 and a half. But I also say that I like Army minus seven and a half. The thing about the Army Navy in the last five, seven, eight years is that when Army has started to get this win, because remember Navy had like a fourteen game winning streak in the series. When Army beats Navy, it's when Navy is really, really bad and Army's really, really good. When they cover the spread, I should say. And this is one of those scenarios where Army's really, really good and Navy's had a really, really rough rough season. So I'm going to take that 7.5, buy it down to 7, and take Army minus 7 in this game, too. And I think it's a low-scoring, hard-hitting affair from MetLife Stadium, which is, which is exciting to see because they moved it to MetLife for a couple of seasons to coincide yep. with the 20th anniversary of 9-11. So it's a really sort of nice tribute to see from this game, to be in New York City uh, for this game. They'll go back to Philadelphia, I think, next year. So big-time game, lots of emotion, lots of pageantry. But I think Army's the team that's going to be able to pull this one out. They're the better team. Minus seven, I'll take. And also the under 34 and a half. That is that's not a lot of points. You know that, Kay. That's so few points <laughs> when it comes to football. Woo. But uh, I'll, white, I'll white knuckle it because I love unders. All right. Uh, I have a few more little stats here. Navy dominated, of course, from 2002 to 2015, winning 14 straight years before Army finally snapped that streak in 2016. Uh, since then, Army has taken back control, winning four of the last five. That one loss came in 2019. I mean, looking at the records, it's obviously pretty easy to guess what will happen here. Army's offense is first in rushing touchdowns in all of college football at 43 and second in total rushing yards at over 3,300. Navy, though, hung with number four Cincinnati in their game back in October 27-20. So they can hang their hat on that at least. Um, Army is six and five against the spread. Navy is seven and four. Uh, as you said, I would leave the under because this game hasn't hit over 40 points since 2013. So 
Ride the under there. Uh, since 2014, all but two games were played within seven points or less. So with that said, I'm actually going to take Navy here at plus seven and a half and hope it's a good, hard-fought, competitive game. Um, Arky, do you know who Army has on deck after this, by the way? Uh, who? That would be the Missouri Tigers, who will be going head-to-head -head with them in the Armed Forces Bowl oh. on December 22nd from Fort Worth, Texas. M-I-Z. For half a second, <laughs> I forgot bowl season's next. <laughs> <laughs> right, yes, a bowl game. But yeah, Mizzou's playing Army. Anyway, yes, I will be taking Navy plus 7.5 and, and hope they play them close. All but right, I definitely so think Army will come out on top. You may be right. Listen, the dog is covered in 10 of the last 15 matches with them. I'm going against the trend. You're going with it. So we'll see who's, who wins it. Game on, partner.